man, look at this. Santa Color. This is a film that I'm really excited to try out. But today we are not here to talk about films or film photography like I've been doing for the past few days. Today we are talking about film recipes. Hey everybody and welcome back to a new video. My name is Timo Varakas and if that sounds like a photo that is out of focus, just call me Tim. So like I said, for the past few days, for the past few videos, I've been talking about film photography, but that gave me an idea about film recipes and just talk to you about film recipes, five film recipes that I think you should be using. Now all the film simulations that I am showing you in this video are made for either X-Trans 5 or X-Trans 4, but I think they perfectly work on both cameras. I'm using an X-Trans 5 sensor camera and I'm using recipes that are suited for the X-Trans 4, but they still look fine. Now the nicest thing about film recipes is that it doesn't just have to, you know, simulate film. It can simulate a look that you want. Now if you haven't heard about Wes Anderson and his latest film Asteroid City, go Google that now because this recipe simulates Wes's look. Now this look is a unique look. It is a great look. I love it. It shines best on sunny days. I even tried out to simulate it onto video, but because of restrictions, there's not enough options to edit in camera, so it didn't look that good, but at least I tried. And here you can see what it looks like. Now I've mentioned this film recipe at least once before. It was made by Ivan Yolo and the melancholy color tone was inspired by a singer and actress called Yuna, who did a music video using those colors. And that music video was called When the Wind Blows. It is a recipe that is made mainly to use by X-Trans 4, but it looks kind of good on X-Trans 5. The only downside is that it is really contrasty. I tried it out when I went to the harbor and it just blows out all the highlights and I haven't really learned to use it yet properly. It might be the simulation, it might be the sensor, it might be the user. I don't really know what's wrong there yet, but I'm still practicing with it. Now this one is a unique one. This was made by Richie at Fuji X Weekly and it was inspired by Fuji Superior 100 and the best part, after scanned by a Frontier SP3000. I mean, this just shows you how far you can go with simulation recipes that you just make in camera. Like Richie says in Fuji X Weekly, the original film, of course, can be affected by how it was shot and the scanner settings. So he didn't tinker that much with that recipe, but it still looks good. Hot damn. Now Cinestill 400D is one of the newest film rolls out there, barely over a year old, and it has its own recipe. Now no recipe will ever come close to replicating Cinestill's, you know, cinematic look. But this is no less than an awesome recipe. Now I tested this recipe first on the streets. The photos you are looking at are those test photos. But as Richie says in Fuji X Weekly, this recipe shines best in landscapes. Last but not least, you gotta have a black and white recipe. This recipe was made by Andres Lindbergh, who is a guru in black and white recipes. Now the original HP4 was first introduced in 1968. After that, in 2014 with an emulsion. Now I love HP's black and white films. They are awesome, they are contrasty, and they shine best in high contrast areas. And I'd like to thank Andreas for sharing this recipe. These recipes are my favorite at the moment. These are the recipes I am using. These are the recipes you should at least check out and try out. They are awesome, especially the Vibrant Arizona with that Wes Anderson look. That is a pretty unique, really unique recipe. Now I'll be testing out more recipes in the future, so stick around. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Wow.